Yeah, yeah. White people wearing blackface has been considered offensive for decades. It comes from a time when it was used to mock and demean African Americans. Well, this year there's a whole new collection of Halloween costumes that many find offensive as well. New at 6, Newsweek's Gabby Hart joins us live from Black Cat Costumes on the west side of town. And Gabby, you've been talking whoa, this over with people. What are you hearing out there? Well, you know, Halloween is a time for funny costumes or scary ones. Uh, you know, some people even really like to push it to the limit with outrageous and even sometimes offensive costumes. But where's the line? How far is too far? There's some costumes that are being considered offensive this year, and it has other people asking why. So we went out into the community. Uh, we talked to people and got their reactions on controversial costumes. Okay, Back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as like a character. James Williams says it's fine to dress up as any celebrity or character. But change your clothes, not your complexion. You got to always backtrack the history of the reason why people have a hard time with blackface. And I feel like from that right there, um, it's never going to change. That people are always going to have a hard time with it because of the history of it. For adults, Halloween is all about who has the hottest, funniest, or most outrageous costume. But where's the line? People push the limits. People push to upset sometimes. Sarah Johnson has been working at Black Cat Costumes and Novelties here in Vegas for five years. She says for her, it's all about the intent. At the end of the day, people are going to take what you're doing however they want to take it. I mean, just stick with your intent. There's a growing list of Halloween costumes considered offensive. If you thought about dressing up as a mariachi band, think again. They're making fun of us, like our cultures and, and um, I mean, I don't think peop other people will like if I will dress up as them. Pocahontas, that's out. Dressing as a Native American, a cowboy, or anything that directly depicts a cultural stereotype could be crossing the line. That's, and that comes from a movie, it comes from growing up. You know, you grow up listening to the stories and you connect with it in your own way and you, you want to dress up as it. Tracy Barton agrees that some costumes are off limits, but she says if everything becomes offensive, we lose the fun and creativity of Halloween. Everybody wants to feel a victim to everything. Everybody wants to be victimized. I don't think people are being too offended. I think that's a cultural thing, and if they feel like that's offensive to their culture, then we should be able to respect something like that. Well, this is a hot topic, social media buzzing tonight, and we want to know what you think. Head over to our News 3 Facebook and Twitter pages and join in on this conversation. I'm reporting live, Gabby Hart, News 3. Gabby, thank you.